Good morning, everyone. It's me, Colleen. I am here bright and early, um, and I'm here ready to do some gua sha on my hand. I am feeling a little bit of tension and tightness in my hand. I've been uh, using them quite a bit. Um, I've been actually using my mouse quite a bit, and uh, that gripping of the mouse has kind of caused me to have some pain here. So I'm going to do some gua sha, show you how I release some of that pain. And I'm also going to show you how I use my massage cups um, to get rid of the tightness that's in the palm of my hand and on the dorsal or back side of my hand. I'm going to apply some uh, muscle salve. Um, muscle salve that I've made. I, I love uh, using it because it uh, really helps with pain and it also helps with um, the um, cups uh, sticking to it and with the gua sha tools. Um, being able to glide over it quite well. I'm gonna put some up on the rest of my hand considering that I got a lot of it and uh, don't wanna waste it, it's good stuff. So um, I'll start off by doing some gua sha on the part of my hand that hurts and I'm just stroking downwards and I do it about six to eight times and you'll notice that as I stroke, I apply a little bit of pressure and that's just to make sure that um, I can stroke or scrape out the shock, the tightness, the um, buildup of whatever is in my hand that's causing me a little bit of pain. Um, in this case, I think it's some myofascial restrictions, and I think that's why um, I'm feeling the tightness. And um, I'm going to make sure I do the thumb quite well as as well. So it's really just a stroke. It's a scrape down. I'm careful of the bones around my uh, thumb um, and taking my time as I do it because I don't want to hurt those bones. Now I'm going to turn my hand over and I'm going to stroke the top side of my hand. And I'm going to use the back of the spoon. And that's just because it gets in between the bones a little bit better as well as in between the tendons a bit better. And you might be able to hear um, me doing my gua sha treatment and um, it doesn't hurt. Um, I feel the release actually, funny enough. And you might feel some of the nerves tingle just a touch because you know you are stroking over sensitive areas of the hand. And I'm now just gonna stroke the top portion of my fingers. And just because I know those tendons are tight and I wanna get in by those tendons, you can see them raised there. Um, whenever my uh, hands are really tight, I tend to make sure I stroke over the tendons a little bit. So it might be something that you want to try if you uh, have tightness in the hands. Um, and it'll relieve it really quickly. You'd be surprised how quickly it'll relieve the tension and the pain. And um, how easy uh, your hands are able to start moving and doing um, the things that probably caused it tension in the first place. So don't overdo it. Don't repeat those things to cause yourself too much tension, but at least uh, allow yourself to get some relief, some myofascial relief, and um, relieve that hand pain. Um, and, you know, it's super easy. Again, you just stroke and you do it in a downwards direction or outwards direction. And I really take the time to get in here um, in this area because if I've got any carpal tunnel pain, I definitely want to relieve um, the um, ligament that's pressing down on the uh, nerves in that area and causing me any of that pain. So that's how I uh, do some um, gua sha on my hand. Feels great. And I'll do it on my other hand next and um, make sure that everything's balanced out. And I'm going to make sure I drink some water after this. It's really important to hydrate. And um, drinking that water helps you to detox and flush out um, any toxins that you've moved out of the body. Because it might not just be a myofascial restriction. You might have uh, uric acid buildup in there. Um, and, you know, as you move those toxins out, um, you want to flush them out of the body. So drink your water. Have a great day and feel great. I know my hands are going to feel way better. They are going to feel amazing.